bounce anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! Shots fired! Four bogeys on a trolley! None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that breach. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with Artyom too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? Yeah, I don't know yet. I gotta check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it, then. Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for a defensive action. Stepan, Damir, get the perimeter. I'm on yes, sir. Duke. I need you to recon the immediate area. Got that, sir. Idiot, you give him cover from the Aurora. Yes, sir. Sam and Alyosha, stay in reserve. Yes, yes sir. sir. Don't forget your notepad, Artyom. Wait, am I not trustworthy anymore? I'd tell you if it was the case, Sam. Now, cut the chatter! Let's go, Artyom! Artyom, don't forget your backpack. It's a new module. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy, enslaved or something. Going down. <laughs> that was great. Hey, what was that? Could you check it out? Hey. 
I took a look around while you were inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. Rabbit! A boat. You won't have to go swimming after all. The locals probably get around mainly by boats. Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Salantius has already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. We are a peaceful love. here either. Silantius locked us up here a year ago. Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen Our in this place all that year. Arriving under the cover of fog. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silantius fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Our job, she's right. Get to the boat. We will rest in her later. Don't worry. Mommy, hush, hush. Are you happy now? Mommy's gonna keep you safe. Who's that? It's just not. She came by boat during the sermon. And then what? Girl, you, you will sit there and then... 
Artyom, I can't cover you when you're inside. I'm changing position to meet the woman and child. I know you can handle this just fine. Uh, have you seen the heretic sister? Of course I did, that heathen. Come on, you dirty spawn of Satan! Come out and don't tempt these men anymore! Are in God's hand. Do the work is needed. The Satan's spawn will not satisfy destroying the old world. Has the hidden been found yet? Bring their filth into our cloister. Down He's not way. here, Holy Father. Keep looking, my children, for he is about. Sure that was a heretic? Well, what else? Come on, they say they Satan spot. himself. Repent, confess your sins. And you believe them? That will count in your favor well, they say that as soon as Father Serratius finished his sermon, there was a flash of hellish light and the heretic just vanished. <laughs> Did they smell sulfur? No, they didn't. But they say that the satanic machine has a vat with sulfur and a vat with oil in it. And whoever gets seduced by the heretics gets boiled in one of them. Women in oil, men in sulfur. What's going on over there, huh? That machine only has coal and water. All right, let's go look for his vat. Grab him by the tail or horns when you find him. <laughs> Can you protect me? The heretic. <laughs> well, just, just shoot. They say you worship the devil. That too. Will you teach me? I think you need this. Please. Why are you leaving? Quick. Huh? What was that?
job, Artyom. You are like a real ninja. I just kiss you right now. Though I've got to take Katya and Nastya to the Aurora, so see you there. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight there from your position. What the fuck was that? A whale? It's fucking huge! The old man sent me out as a forward sentry. Told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer. <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult. How about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with a dumb spyglass. Here though we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer, I suspect. The shrimps are giving me trouble, though. I wish I could somehow talk to that catfish into chomping all those water bugs. How did Mowgli talk to the animals, I wonder?
Here's RTM back from the abyss of NATO You're alive! <laughs> Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Thank you for the Both information, Katya. And Katya. Her but there and is Katya's one more question I need to ask. Handy. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Thank you, Artyom. If Artyom, not for you, we'd never have escaped Once that place. They were the so busy man. looking for I've you. I've got something for and you. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we are to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yermak can't handle the repairs alone. So, once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council, to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Thank How do you like the backpack? Is it great. comfortable? She's Can you operate stealthily with it? Thank you, Auntie I have a present for you here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still packs a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up. Otherwise, you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all locked out with Anna. She's a total dead eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable.
You pretty amazing, братуха. That was crazy. Блин, those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers have never have a chance against them. You, you just cut through them, блин. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Christ, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me, well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blyad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Блин, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beast all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east, now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running. Oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right, that huge hangar. That's a terminal, blin. The cult is considered a holy place. Covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti. Their <laughs> tsarfish live there, you know? Stupid bastards. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now. My key. And this is where I live. Not the palace. One. Oh, here's a bed. So if you're tired, my home is your home. I made a workbench to tinker on. If you need ammo or grenades, there's some uh, raw materials here. So help yourself. You can have anything you like it. Can't carry all the shit anyway. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Oh, anyhow. I gotta tell you, this isn't just a pretty face. I've got a whole lot of knowledge stored up in here. And look at these hands. They know how to fix stuff. You'll never have second thoughts about picking me up. <laughs> to buy some smokes from the villagers before the assholes chase me away, buddy. Now, you could take the zip line down, just hook up and uh, away you go. Dumb cretins didn't like my life. You know, I've been banned from the village and the bridge ever since.
Artyom, I heard you call me. It was so great there. <coughs> but I heard you and couldn't leave you. Ah! <laughs> 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 
It's good our chum found me. Oh, what is this place? See the barrels? They're chemicals of some kind. This place is either for storage or it's a dump. And that short could have been put there by the locals to mark the spot. Thank you, my love. Oh, okay, all right. So, uh, Artyom, let's pick her up now? No way in hell. I can... I can walk just fine. I'll just rest a bit and get going. <laughs> the old man's probably going seven sorts of crazy now, thinking his precious daughter got hurt or something. <clears throat> Dad, it's me. My radio battery died. I got it wet. Other than that, I'm fine. Artyom and the guys are here. Anna, one day I will have a heart attack because of you. You are giving me dances <coughs> once you are back, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, is that you? Thanks for helping find Anna. <coughs> now I want you to drag her butt here with extreme prejudice. Time to talk some sense into that brat. <laughs> Head back. Help Stepan persuade my father about letting Katya and Nastya travel with us. Atyom, I am feeling better now. Really, I am. So, Sam, tell me what the real enemy bases look like so that we know when we see it. Artyom, help us here. The old man won't let Katya and Nastya come with us, even though Katya told us where to find a passenger car in great condition. I... Uh, we... We have to go back now, I guess. Where... Where would you go? Those fanatics would eat you alive. Well... Maybe they... Hi, Artyom. Thank you. Won't let you down. Hey, Artyom. See how it all worked out? Come here, Artyom. Have a seat. Look, we have an opportunity to cross the bridge without an assault. There are trade caravans going up the river, and the bridge dwellers do business with them. So, disguised as such traders, we will infiltrate the bridge and lower it. Katya says it still works. They won't be able to stop us if we move fast. And should they try, we'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. They want blood, they will get it. So now, we only have to wait for the traitor's boat. Colonel, sir, we can't just leave them here. They will be eaten alive. Sipan, did you ever try using your head? 
Do you know where we are going? What we are going to face on the way there? Where, pray tell, are they going to sleep on the Aurora? Atop the coal crates? We Spartans can handle it. But for a woman with a six-year-old daughter, no less, this is unacceptable. I'll give them my bedroll and move into the stock. You will fall asleep and get your throat cut the next day you get guard duty after trying to sleep there. Still, I, I know we can't leave them. Let's just collect that carriage Katya told us about while we wait. We can't leave the child here. And anyhow, how long are we going to sleep in turns for? Are you starting that again? How? Huh? How are we going to collect that carriage? I'm not taking the Aurora there. Oh, you don't need it. I have a rail car hidden in the terminal. It can tow a carriage like nobody's business. Artyom and I can go get it and, and bring the carriage back. No way I'm letting you go. It will take us both till morning to finish the repairs, and I can't handle it myself in time. Okay, okay, have it your way. I'm done playing the monster here. We get that carriage. We take the civilians with us. Artyom, will you handle this? Listen, Artyom. If the caravan is sighted, drop everything and rush to the port. It's our best chance of traversing the bridge. Thanks, Dad. Katya and Nastya will be so grateful. Here, Artyom. It's a breaker for the rail car. It won't run without this. She's a real babe, Artyomich. No two ways about it. We went to hell and back, here and I. So much stuff you hold, so... Many tight spots she saved me from. Look, Artyom, since you're going to the terminal, hear me out. It's quite a distance away, and look, if you go at night, there's less of a chance you might run into bandits. They stay at their camps when it's done. But it's not gonna be easy either, since more beasts come out, and there are also electrical anomalies. The fanatics call them the demons of electricity, so you should think about your options before heading out. Artyom, Duke is on a mission in that area. He's keeping tabs on the bridge. Reception is bad there. We get mostly static from him. Anyway, if you meet him, he'll update you on the latest developments in the terminal. I bet you've conspired with Anna and Stepan. I care for those two no less than you. But we don't know if what's ahead is any better than the fanatics. I guess we'll have to live and see. Great job persuading the old man. Check out my setup here, Artyom. I finally got everything the way I wanted. A proper workbench, with storage space for all my tools, and some to spare. You can clean your weapons and make ammo for them here, just like with any other workbench you might find. My gun rack is only available here on the Aurora, though. I'll keep samples of every gun you find, and you can exchange them whenever you want. Always in the best working condition. Oiled and shiny like new. <laughs> you won't have to install any attachments again, though. I am going to make you all competent gunsmiths eventually. Listen, Artyom, I have something for your Tihar. You can try installing it. Use the workbench. Well, I won't keep you here any longer. Anna, thank you and Artyom for helping us. I don't know what would have become of us without you. It is a cursed place. And that's Silantius. Don't thank us before it's all ready to go. It all hangs on Artyom now, so wish him luck. Artyom, uh, are you going to the terminal? You might meet Duke there. He's got an observation post set up in a carriage near the bridge. Ask him for a picture before going in. Artyom, Nastya has something she wants to ask you. Go on, Nastya. Uncle Artyom. Really?
find my teddy. There, that wasn't so hard. See, there are demons nesting somewhere on those storage tanks near the terminal. So, could you check if the toy is on one of them? I know this sounds silly, but it was a present from her father, and she doesn't want to leave without it. Look, uh, I'll be in your debt if you do. Oh, and don't do anything risky, of course. One more thing. I heard the guitar coming from that tower. It had a nice sound, but the player, oh, he's just atrocious. I know it's dangerous and all, but uh, if a chance presents itself, save the instrument. Hey, what are you people doing? Turning a main frequency into a call show? It's gonna be mission. Don't pile stupid shit on top of it. Oh, uh, Colonel, sir, uh, we're done already. I'm just too nice to you all. All right, as you were. Over and out. Artyom, Miller here. Transmitting Duke's coordinates. He's keeping tabs on the bridge from there. Meet up with him. He'll fill you in on the latest developments in the terminal. Miller, over and out. Hop! Well, hello, my blood brother. Didn't see me, huh? The others don't either. I'm basically part of the scenery now. I heard you were headed to the terminal for the rail car. Then let me fill you in. The terminal can only be entered by water. Luckily, there is a dock with a boat nearby. Left there by the fanatics, it seems. Inside, there are just those, uh, um, humanimal mutants, or so it seems. See that gas station? It's a bandit hideout. They ambush the fanatics. These guys seem to be drawn to the terminal like flies to you know what. The bandit caught three of them on my watch. Look at the building over there. Bandits keep captives there for ransom or something. But they sure go to town on the poor guys. I asked the colonel for permission to go in three times. But no dice. I understand why. But we have always protected common folk from lowlifes like these. So, I'm having a hard time staying put. Oh well. See those ruins? There's a bandit camp there too. They have a sniper. I saw at least one scope flashing from the roof. So I wouldn't advise an open attack. The bridge is in full lockdown. None of the armed dudes ever show themselves. They definitely expect us to attack, so there is no reason to be concerned about them now. Hey, it's your choice when to move out, but the bandits should be easier to avoid in the dark. In any case, I'm going back to my post.
has got no wood, and we can't sell them off to Astrakhan. Half would die before we got there, and paying off the Krivoy gang on the way would leave us in the red. Don't fret. Glab has got it all covered. The boys are rested at the bridgehead to steal on us to the caravan.
here. <laughs> That's amazing. I knew Uncle you had Tom. great potential. Yeah. Until yeah. Back back then. Come the jammer. I have something to talk to you about. Thank you, Artyom. I don't even know how to thank Hello, you. Hello, Artyom. Spasibo. You're back. You did great. Thank you. So, here's the plan. Your group captures the tugboat. Then you, Duke and Crest, take it to the bridge. While Crest distracts the guards, you and Duke infiltrate the control room at the top and lower the bridge. On your mark, we'll ram the gates, pick you up, and... And... I pray to God it works out. Hmm. I can't give you or Duke any direct support. The data we have tells us the enemy's main force is guarding the gate. One more thing, Artyom. Look after Duke, all right? He's a great scout, but uh, prone to unnecessary risks. Now, sure, he's young, but if he continues like that, who knows what will happen, huh? So give him a good example and do it smoothly and quietly. You are his role model, and as such should remember that you are special forces, huh? not tank jocks. Good luck, Artyom. Welcome back, Ranger. <laughs> it looks like I've been worrying for nothing. <sighs> it's my age, I guess. Oh, well, we were all worried. Yeah, but Anna took it to a whole new level, I must say. Artyom, look, I have an improvement for Tiha ready. Try taking it out for a trial. You're welcome to use the workbench to install it. So, are you ready for that final push? Good luck, and thanks again. Tiny thing on such a journey. Artyom, we are in position, awaiting orders. on the crane.
Look, you should rest up there till nightfall. I'll wait for you down here. They have about 15 guards. Four at the tugboat ladder, sentries at the pier. Sam will take the right flank. Come in, Sam. I'm in position. I can see a guard. Duke is to the left of the hangar. Come in. Duke in position, ready to pick the guard off. Idiot is on the far crane. Ready for action. Got a mark on everyone on the pier. Hey. Crest has shouted out the basement. There's only two of them here. He's repairing something, so... This seems to be the there best part for He's up there. Well, Artyom, we are all set. You managed to get out of the church quietly, so let's make this one the same. Uh, open fire! He's been spotted! Knock him out! There he is! Hiding behind the tank! This one's down! Fall back to assembly point! He's hiding behind the door. Oh, no, I got you. There, there he is! is. That's it! I surrender! The barges are clear. That's Time it! I surrender! At least he accepted my surrender. There's that. Artyom, all the traitors are neutralized. Damn, we shot them. Bam! And there... Yeah, Duke, you and our team did so well. You shot a bunch of innocent merchants. You both deserve medals. Maybe even two each. Yeah, it would have been nice to take them alive. Well, it's okay. The barges are clear. Time to capture the tugboat bridge.
Don't shoot! I can pay the, the goods! Take them! You can take the goods! Stay calm! It's us! A shame we couldn't do it quietly. So, you guys ready to set off? Too late if you're not. We have no time to waste. Good luck, guys. I hope the winds are fair and the waters are smooth. And Artyom, watch it out there. Oh yeah, we're gonna need that luck, all right. Fair winds. Hurra! Man your stations, weigh anchor! We're gonna go about halfway there, then wait in the reeds until about 4 o'clock. We want to get there early in the morning, when the fog is the thickest and they are sleepy after the morning prayer. Artyomich, Duke, you're on final approach. There. See that fire at the very top? That's the control post. What well, used to be anyway. Now it's a shrine, believe. Closer to God at the top, you see. That's where you have to go. I'll distract the guards now. Sure! Catch the line! Ready! Hey, sailor! What did you do to your barge? What you gonna sell now? <laughs> oh, you're so funny! Jackass, man. So, Artyom, shall we move? Man? Whoever gets there first we wins. Break a leg. One demon. That's a hit. It's all in God's hands. That is true. His will be done. You know, I've been thinking. What do those heretics want here? Nah, they just want to get to the other side. That's all. And what's so nice over there on the other side? Hey, brother, everyone is looking for a better life. Which is where? Where? You told me off so that we are hearing our ideas. Why is that? We are the best. It's not what I meant. You are dumb. Well, explain it better. Why is it everywhere? What's the point of explaining? Down there. I'm disguised, rained me fast. 
and the ground burned to ash. Then the seas boiled, and people turned into shadows. But our cloister survived, for the faithful reside here. <laughs> and the Lord, in his mercy and wisdom, has chosen one among them who goes by the name of Silantius. And so speaketh the Lord, I will be with you, and will keep you safe, provided you are true in your devotion, provided you reject satanic technology. We will reject. And even more so, do you reject Satan's deception, that thing they call electric current. The cursed gift the enemy gave to the fools, so that they would fancy themselves about the God, about God, and more powerful than him. We reject. Amen, my children. For the electric current is Satan's temptation and his poison. Only those who reject electricity will be allowed into the kingdom of God. Only those who remain unsullied by its corruption will be let through by the Sarfish! Glory to the fish! Damn, you are quicker too! Oh, look, we're just passing through. Let us through peacefully, our guys won't shoot. We've been easy on you people the whole time, and Katya asked us to take her along herself. Do you kill me? Sure thing. First, you kill off the local cutthroats, and then you switch to us. Will you kill elders and children too? Or have you drunk enough blood already? Leave us for good now. God may punish you for your sins, but my responsibility is to tend my flock. That's a good boy. Hear me, brothers. Hold your fire. You hear me? I'll excommunicate everyone who shoots. Well, I did all I could. Just don't shoot. And tell the driver to keep it slow. The bridge is in shambles, so don't stop, or the bridge might collapse. You are not going to here. We have reached an agreement. They will let us through if we don't shoot and move slowly. And don't stop. I repeat, do not stop. Over. Killing loud and clear, Duke. We're up. All hands, hold your fire until ordered. Artyom, let's jump! Well, that's a job well done, huh? <laughs>